When I was 15 years old, I made the decision to drop out of school and dedicate all of my time to training in the martial arts. I was always interested in martial arts. I was always fascinated with martial arts. I had a deal with my parents when I was like 11 years old uh, that I was gonna do well in school and they were gonna let me train martial arts. I did really well in school that year. I did not end up training in martial arts. And uh, about three years after that, I had almost entirely stopped going to school. I started out in MMA and I actually started out as a pure striker. So I was fighting MMA. Uh, with virtually no understanding of wrestling and grappling and I realized very quickly that I needed to become more educated. So I made the decision to find an instructor to teach me Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I live in Manhattan, grew up in New York and Manhattan. So the school that I found was Vitor Shaolin Jiu Jitsu, training under Vitor Shaolin. It was only about a year ago that I made the decision to transition from MMA into submission grappling. So High Rollers 1 actually had some pretty big names in it uh, right away and the divisions were filling up. It was limited to 16 guys. I was lucky to find out about it early because of a friend of mine and I signed up right away. So I got in there and when it came down to it the day of, I was the first competitor to step on the mat for the first ever High Rollers match. So the original High Roller, if you will, came back at High Rollers 2, which was also one of their bigger events, and did much better that day. And then finally, they started this tour around the country this year. And I've been in every tournament so far with varying results. I've had a lot of good matches. I've competed at Purple Belt, and I've competed in the Brown and Black Belt combined division in both Gi and No Gi. I have qualified in the No Gi division so far. That was in Denver. That was after a lot of attempts. It's been a a long road to make it into High Rollers 3. If you place first or second, that qualifies you to get to the championship in December, High Rollers 3. And that's the actual shit. Like, this is just something to get you there. This is just a stepping stone. We've hit Pittsburgh, we've hit San Fran, we've hit Miami, we've hit Denver, we hit Vegas, we hit New York, San Diego. I had my best results in Denver. I caught a footlock, it was deep. As far as what the video shows, I got the tap and the ref stopped us because he saw the tap. Then my opponent complained, said he didn't tap. The ref restarted us from the same position, theoretically, but the submission was not set the way it originally was. In the end, my opponent escaped, time ran out. He was ahead on points and he got the win. After that was no gi, I scored a heel hook. And then I had a pretty eventful match, went to a draw with a tough opponent. After we went the distance, the referee decided that instead of making a ref decision, which is what the rules say, we were gonna have a golden score overtime, which is nowhere in the rules. So it was a surprise to everybody. Uh, we went into it, I shot a double, my opponent defended, he injured his rib, went down, I took the win that way. And I was in the final, which means I was already qualified uh, for the first time, which was nice, but it was the final against the same guy who fake tapped in my first match of the day in the Gi and uh, unfortunately I lost to him, so I went 0-2 that day to him on the official record, but we'll see each other in the main event bracket at High Rollers 3. High Rollers 3 is gonna be like High Rollers 1 and 2. A lot of uh, named individuals, fighters, celebrities, obviously, I mean, indeed, you know, the prize of pounds, flower, which everybody's looking forward to, and uh, some pretty, you know, fire matches. I use cannabis before training, after training, when I'm resting, when I'm waking up in the morning and at night before sleeping. I feel it helps me with almost everything. I feel it improves cognitive performance for me. I feel it improves athletic performance, 
feel it improves recovery. I started to research it more and more. I found out about its effects as a bronchodilator, its effects as a neuroprotectant, and the government patent on cannabinoids, specifically as neuroprotectants and antioxidants. And the more I researched it, I, you know, anti-inflammatory and all these other great things that it does. And so I was willing to use more and more of it more and more often. It's become a normal part of my training regimen and a normal part of my everyday life. That was one of the reasons that High Rollers was so exciting for me when I first found out about it was because this is how I do it anyway. I smoke joints most of the time, but I'll hit a bong, I'll hit a bowl, I'll hit a chillum, I'll hit a hemp blunt and not tobacco. I'll burn some hash, some keef, I'll dab. I mean, you show me cannabis and I'll consume it. I walk around New York City smoking joints all day, every day, and uh, that's pretty much the way it is. I've competed in a lot of different combat sports and in a lot of different jiu-jitsu events. High Rollers is amazing. The level of competitors has been really high. DJ Jackson's been competing at several of the events, and Rico Coco competed in Miami. We've had some very, very high-level competitors turning out for his tournaments. Kevin Crane is maybe one of the lesser-known names who's just been dominating at these tournaments. He's right up there with the best guys. And a lot of big names turning up even to watch. Frank Mir, Dan Hardy, Nate Diaz, Yancey Medeiros, Daniel Strauss, and Marcus Brimage. Tyron Woodley stopped by for a while. Wiz Khalifa showed up. I definitely got a shout out for the high rollers. We got high, we rolled up, you hit me. It's kind of cool. I've watched all these guys fight for a long time on TV and even live in some cases. And, uh, you know, they're hanging out watching me compete and we're all smoking weed together. And, and it's been very cool hanging out with those guys. You know, my goal with High Rollers is to compete in as many brackets as I can at that main event, give myself as many opportunities to try to come away with that prize. But overall, that's just one step along the way. You know, that's a big, open weight tournament with all the national qualifiers. I know the competition will be tough. Everyone wants a chance to win a pound. Everyone wants to win the cash prize at the event. Everyone wants that title, High Rollers Champion. So the competition's very, very intense, but the environment is very relaxed and friendly, and it's a very cool place to be. I'm just excited to go there, have a good time. My name is David Weintraub, and I am the highest roller.